afternoon good morning good evening wherever you are in the world for me it is afternoon p.m guys today i want to show you how i prepare or how i cook brown stew chicken disclaimer guys this is how i prepare brown stew chicken i believe when it comes to cooking there is no right or wrong way I think cooking is uh, all about creativity. So guys, for me, cooking is therapy. I love to cook for myself. I do enjoy cooking. I do enjoy home cooked meals more than I love going out because I know that what I'm eating is healthy. And I do take pride in ensuring that I use as much natural ingredients natural seasoning as possible so yeah let us um enjoy as we cook guys today is sunday and um i'm also in great mood i'm happy i like to have a little glass of wine while i'm cooking so yeah i want to let us start guys hope your sunday is going well uh yeah So yeah guys, this is my setup here. I have already chopped the seasonings that I'll be using. Um, onions, garlic, cilantro, celery, bell peppers. I also have some potatoes here. A little bit of cabbage. Uh, I love spicy, so I have some jalapeno pepper. And this, you might be wondering, this is um, West Indian seasoning pepper. It is half. You might be wondering why I, I do not have a, a whole one. Guys, I cannot find this in Jacksonville. So the last time I visited New York, I bought a lot. I do not have any more left. I was try tried to use it very sparingly. And this is the last piece I have. So that's why it's half. So... The star of the show, which is the chicken. Here is the chicken, guys. I have seasoned the chicken. Um, I also love to to add a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of oil, and just a little bit of the browning that I'm going to use. And um, put it to, I don't know, there's a word that you use when you just put it to sit a little to absorb the flavors. So it has been sitting for about an hour. So now I am going to get it on the fire and this is the browning, this is the browning that I'll be using. <clears throat> Guys, I know that this is not a cooking channel, but I do not want to just box myself in one category. I just want to share my experience, share my culture, share my way of life on this channel and why not share my cooking experiences with you. I think most of my um, viewers are from all over the world and I'm sure that there might be somebody from Australia, somebody from uh, Phuket that stumbles on this video and might say, wow, I want to try that dish. Do you know that one of my favorite um, dishes to prepare is chicken tikka masala and that dish is an Indian dish and I learned to prepare that dish by watching a YouTube video. Another dish that I really really love to prepare which is my favorite is um, shrimp pad thai and it's like I think it's a it's a Thai dish it's it's shrimp yeah it's a Thai dish and I really love it I love preparing it so I think that this is a platform that really exposes you to all different cultures and why not use it for something positive somebody might see it and they might love it and they might want to try it so sure I'm, 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 I'm gonna share it with you and I hope you enjoy so yeah I'll put a I'll put the chicken and the stuff in here it wasn't hot enough but it's okay we live we learn guys so it's here as you can see I'll turn it on a bit and when it starts um, 
simmering a bit I will put the when it starts simmering I will put the I'll put the mix of seasoning and I will just put it to on slow fire so that it cooks slowly and that's how I do it guys okay so now I'm just going to put some of the um, Jamaican gravy browning in there so that it gets the dark color that I want it to have it's very tricky I don't want to put too much so this is how it looks like and um, you can do it according to your preference how how dark you want it so so you see I will not be adding any water to this I will cover it let it slow boil let it stew and it will make its own and that's where it becomes very tasty and delicious because it's all it's a fusion of different seasoning and you know very very yummy so yeah I think it needs a little heat we are cooking together guys so <laughs> I'm not trying to be perfect here I'm not a professional chef I'm just showing you how I prepare. I'm going to stew up a bit. Let's just let it get it the brown color. Do you see how the gravy is brown? Do you see that? So let it just stew up and then what I will do so I feel like it's good. I think it is brown enough. I won't be adding any more of that gravy browning. I won't be adding any more of it. So what I will do now, I will add this. Just add it. And that's it. This is where the flavor comes in. Guys, this is where the flavor comes in. There's garlic in there. I love adding garlic to my food. This is just going to just melt and ooze all of the juices and it's just going to be very tasty delicious um, chicken stew brown chicken stew at the end so I will cover it I'll give it some time let it slow cook and then we can come back and check it out one thing for me, one thing I do is that I cook from scratch. I do not add any, um, mm. what do you call it? Uh, I do not add any um, broth. I do not add any broth from any box. I love to cook from scratch. So that's what I'm doing right here, cooking from scratch. So I'll just cover this and let it slow cook, let it create its own juice. It's, and then I will come back to put the cabbage, the potato, and at the end, at the end, I will put this because this adds so much flavor and gives it a beautiful, delicious smell. So I will add this at the very end. So I want to show you where we are right now. So this is what it is looking like. Remember I told you that I would not be adding any water because I would just cover it and let it create its own juices. If I add water, probably the flavor will be diluted and I do not want that. I just want to taste all of the natural juices from the natural herbs that I have added in here we have a lot of like look at that you see we have a lot of gravy here so what I will do right now is add the potatoes I love to add potatoes in my stew because this is also what I will be having for lunch I won't cook any rice or anything I mean it's your choice you can add add you can cook a rice to have something on the side 
if you want rice or you want some like green bananas or anything of your choice if you are from um, different parts of the world whatever carbohydrates you eat with your your meat you can add that but for me I'm trying to um, eliminate as much carbohydrates from my diet as possible so that's why so yeah there you have it I think this is enough um, potatoes might add another piece this is enough and I will let this cook continue to to slow cook and then I'll be back in a few so guys we are done the this has been slow cooking for about 45 minutes I think now it is ready to be eaten now I'm just going to um, serve a, a dish for myself so I'll just be serving myself one um, piece of chicken and put a little bit of the different herbs the potato and some of the the gravy in a bowl so I can eat I will be having this with a salad today and yeah that's it guys so that's what it's 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 looking like I like to go a little extra so this is what it looks like I like to go a little extra and I love to garnish my um, dishes with a little bit of um, celery flakes so yeah guys so I'm going to take you outside on my balcony we are we will continue the conversation guys if you love this recipe if you love this uh, if you would like to experience this authentic um, dish please feel free and tell me what you think tell me how you enjoy it uh, you can also share your ideas with me tell me how you prepare it and I would love to try the way you do it so yeah guys this is what the the meal looks like a nice setup outside this is the salad that I made to eat with my um, chicken stewed chicken and this is the chicken it looks very de delicious almost look like uh, fine dining to me so hi guys thank you so much for for stopping by and for watching this video up to the end I do hope you like what you see I hope you find this um, dish interesting and I hope it's something that you will um, prepare in your kitchen today is Sunday and I am um, outside enjoying nature the beautiful weather of florida and guys please if you haven't subscribed to this channel i really hope you do i really hope you like what you see and um yeah i will see you on my next video i am going to dive into this and um 